Hey there YouTubers, Jordan the Mind Sculptor here again. Man, I haven't posted a video in like two months. Man, it feels good to be back. That's all I can say. I hope hope everybody still had a good time, you know, while I was gone and everything. Uh some important things came up in my life so I couldn't really do YouTube. But guess what? I'm back and I'm back with a brand new deck. So so this deck is called Selesnia Boom Boom. It's um, a variation of one of Craig, of Craig Wesco's uh, Dragon's Maze winning deck. Um, so here it is. So to start off with the land, we have four Temple Gardens. Um, Shock Land, you know, almost every dual land needs it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, every dual land. Well, the every uh, dual color deck needs the Shock Land of those colors um, then we have four sun petals which I know are going out of standard but I'm really hoping they'll uh, reprint uh, a dual land uh, in Theros so these are in it for now until rotation which pretty much sucks so those are that's the not basic land I really want to get some Gavinia townships in here but it's just, I can't find anywhere. My local store doesn't have any or anything. And for basic land, we have six forests, which I would have five if I had a Gavinia Township. Two to Gavinia Townships. I'd have five forests instead of six, but I have six forests. And six plains, which I would only have five plains if I had two Gavinia Townships. I'd take out a plains and a forest form. So there's... There's the mana base, which is 20 land. And to get this started off with the creatures and the spells and everything, I'm going to go by mana cost. So one card in here that just extremely rocks, you know, rocks everything off, is um, Experiment 1. You know, it's a 1-1 one, one for 1, but it evolves, and almost everything in here can make it evolve at least once. So I mean, you know, uh, Experiment 1. This is definitely a good card to have in here. Very needed. Um, three Dryad Militants, because you can bust, uh, bust out the Experiment 1, turn 1, and then this, or something else, turn 2. You know, so, good card to have in here, and it shuts down control uh, with Snapcasters and stuff, so which is awesome because that against the control deck that have main boards that relies on their snapcasters is it just kills them and it doesn't really bother this deck a whole lot granted we do use a lot of sorceries in here but we can't ever get them back so it doesn't matter and then we have four mana fixing cards four avacyn's pilgrims you know very good card very very good for mana fixing and here comes the not really cheap at all card, starting with two drops, if you can already figure that out. A playset of Voice of Resurgence. Yeah, that wasn't very easy to get, but I did it. So, playset of Voice of Resurgence because, yes, <laughs> this deck is a very straightforward deck. You know, it's very easy to get, very easy to understand, and very easy to play super fun to play too. This is my uh, main competitive deck that I'm going to the VIP qualifier to with. So, you know, it's really good. And then four, call the conclaves because two drops or three. Um, yes. Yes, please. So, call the conclave. This card is definitely needed. Um, Selesnia charms. Running a place out of those because it gets rid of Obsidat, makes your creatures bigger, or you get a 2 2 Knight to bring out your, uh, to pump up your Experiment 1 if need be. If you're just really low on creatures for some odd reason, board wipes and stuff, this is the card that will save you. Yeah, okay, and this, it never called for this card, but I only had two Voice of Resurgence to begin with, so I had to sub something in. And this is what I came up with. So I subbed in two Druid's Deliverance, which I ended up really liking it, so I added a third. And it's just so good. Okay, 
I'll pay six mana, get a five five worm with the advent of the worm, and then I'll prevent all combat damage. So not only did I prevent all the combat damage that you were just about to deal to me, I got two five five worms of trample. Have fun doing what you wanted to do. So on to three drops we have <coughs> locks three locks it on spiders. Just a great card, you know great against like uh, Liliana and stuff so uh, not very needed in here but it's just a good card to have in here um, same thing goes for this card um, O-Ring Oblivion Ring actually but so I mean it's not needed but it is definitely worth having in here to get rid of like their main threats like if they're running a uh, I guess same de like a mirror deck, you know, you can get rid of their planeswalkers and stuff. So it's pretty good. And then on to four drops. Oops. Um, four, Advent of the Worm. A must have in this deck. It is so good. It is so good. And it messes people up because you can play this on their turn. <laughs> and they're just like, what? That, that doesn't happen. We can't do that here. What are you thinking? So, I mean, it's very, very good card. Very needed in this deck. It's what makes the deck run, almost. And then, for our only Planeswalkers in here, which the only Planeswalkers needed to be in here is uh, Grook of the Relentless. Turns into Grook the Veil Curse. Simply because you, one, get tokens, you know, get tokens to pump up your voice. Uh, voices token, and not only if they're having like a creature like Lightning Mauler or Silverblade Paladin that you just can't really crap, crap, crap. I do play a lot of Night Human, so I understand that card. You can just blow them up real quick <laughs> and get one one with Death Touch, which is even better. So another card, and last but not least is two Thrag Tusks. Uh, that life gain is awesome, and they're three three, like uh, the three three beast that comes in afterwards is great because for board wipes and stuff it's just incredible so I mean this is a very well thought out deck it took me a while to come up with a variation because I hate going off on of net decks and net decks always get beat like that so I mean it's whatever but this deck is so fun to play and it's super easy to play too very straightforward so um, comment down below what you guys think, and thank you for watching. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos, so subscribe and like. Make sure you crush that thumbs up button, you know you can. And while you're at it, demolish that subscribe button. Always love the subscribers. I love to give back to the community, so see you guys later.